What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe, and this is Eve Online, and we are still talking about ship fitting. So, we've talked about the lows, we've talked about the mids, the highs, and the rig slots, and we, it wasn't an exhaustive discussion in any way, shape, or form. I mean, the, the amount of modules that you can put in each of these areas is long, but this time I figured we should talk about power grid and CPU, as these are some limitations that are imposed upon most ships to sort of prevent you from, I don't know, it's a way of constraining the equation, so to speak. So right now I've got these Arbalest cruise launchers in here, and instead of those, if I do, let's see here, let's unfit the module for all of these, and just take the Tech 2. We'll put six of those on there to fill them out. And generally, weapons use up quite a bit, but there are also modules that uh, that take up quite a bit of power grid or CPU. Um, you may notice that you have skills that are, let's see, under gunnery, I think, oh, I need to complete that. Uh, turret operation, rate of fire, let's see. What am I looking for? Weapon upgrades, that's what I'm looking for. Engineering. Weapon upgrades. Knowledge of gunnery computer systems, including use of weapon upgrade modules. 5% reduction per skill level in the CPU needs of weapon turrets, launchers, and smart bombs. All right, so if we're looking over here, um, let's see, fitting. So you see this. Um, each component or module has a CPU and a power grid usage. And... If you are trying to fit a ship and you're having trouble getting the power grid within the allotted amount, because that's what it tells you here, how much you're using versus, or I mean, how much is left versus how much total you have, um, there are ways to toy with that. So one way is looking at the modules themselves, right? So if you're wedded to the idea of using Tech 2 weaponry, these are pretty high in... Um, they're pretty high in their demands on the ship that they're on as far as power grid and CPU go. So 51 and 1450 versus 58 and 1500. You see, so the Tech 2 version uses more. Now, I, I'm not exactly sure. The base value is 66, um, but it may be because of my weapon upgrades that I'm that I, I've got that. But regardless, you can see that, that the Tech 4 version has lower requirements. And that is often the truth across uh, all modules, right? So if you look at this afterburner, 43 and 563. Now, 43 and 563, let's look at that. 43 and 563 compared to 50 and 688, right? So you might want the, the 100mn afterburner too, but you might need to use an, uh, a Meta 4 version of that, that same afterburner just to be able to fit all of the things on the ship that you want to fit. Now, so one way to go about overcoming these challenges with power grid and CPU is by sort of swapping out for uh, Meta 4 versions. Another is faction, um, faction modules often give better boosts and sometimes the boost quote unquote that it provides is that it has lower uh, lower requirements to use it as far as power grid and CPU so if you have a really tight fit this is this can end up leading to why some fits are really expensive because in order to get them to work properly you really need um, you really need these faction modules and components um, another way to go about it is there are uh, let's see, reactor control modules, I think they're called, or control units, there we are. So I think this is a low slot item, and if we, let's see, which one is this? Boost core power, so 13.75 thousand power, this if I throw it in a low slot will give you 15.8, right? So there are components down here in the lows that will increase your uh, your power. I 
that one I knew off the top of my head. The CPU one, I just can't remember. I would guess that it is, let's see, not capacitor. And there are modules that you can get to increase the base capacity for your capacitor um, and modules that you can get that increase the recharge rate. Um, let's see, power diagnostic systems, there we are. That, uh, let's see. What does this do? Gives a slight boost to power core output and a minor increase to, in shield and capacitor recharge. So, um, a lot of battle cruisers use these because they run a passive shield regeneration. Um, and let's see, auxiliary power core. I don't think that's it. Electronics. Yeah, I'm not going to fish around in here while you watch, but there are modules that do that and. I don't remember whether they're mid or low. I want to say they're mid, but they'll help your CPU as well. Um, a third way to go about it is the rigs, and we might have touched on that during the rig video. And a fourth is, and this is a small boost, but you know, if you're if you're like right on the razor's edge here, you may you may need every every bit you can get. And there are implants which you can get as well, which and yeah, those are attribute, uh, but yeah, implants can help you increase your your available power grid and CPU, and there are also implants that help and add like three percent to shields and you know science and scanning, and, and these are obviously expensive because they they affect all of the ships that you're in. Um, but that's a fourth way to do it. So if you're trying to fit a ship that you found online, and if you're on like Eve University, a lot of times they'll have a little chart that shows. Uh, how difficult to fit this uh, your you know the build that they're suggesting is um, this is these are ways that you can sort of go uh, about I guess changing the equation a bit to help yourself out so just to recap you can use different different meta and tech levels of weapons and components to try to reduce the the requirements uh, you can add components and modules in the lows and the mids, I believe, to add CPU and power grid. You can use rigs and you can use implants. So I, I, I'm sure I'm missing something because there are like a ton of different ways to go about doing almost anything you might want to do in this game. Um, but those are four big ones and the four that I'm aware of. If you have any thoughts or any uh, other suggestions, by all means, hit us up in the comments and let us know, and uh, everybody else who sees that will benefit as well. So, thank you for watching, and this was just another sort of last bit on fitting, and yeah, hopefully it helped out. Um, yeah, so I think that's it, and uh, if you have any ideas of things that you're curious about, I think next I'm going to get into trading. I don't personally... I've, I've dabbled in it enough to make uh, modules for myself, but uh, and that will hopefully be enough to just sort of make an introductory video, and we can get into it on that level. But beyond that, we'll, uh, we can learn together if you really want to get into it. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.